Think of someone who inspires you. It could be somebody you know, like your mom, your boss, your best friend, or it could be somebody that you don't know, like Beyonce, Barack Obama, even somebody who is sardonic, like Howard Stern. Now think about why they inspire you. It's probably because they accomplish something through insurmountable odds. For me, someone that inspires me is my mom. As a young woman living in the Philippines, she decided to venture off and make a new life for herself here in the United States, eventually retiring as vice president of her hospital and also colonel in the U.S. Army, not to mention also raising two handsome boys, <laughs> one more handsome than, than the other. <laughs> her life was a leap between a poor nursing student to actually becoming an industry leader in healthcare. The leap between where she was and where she became, it was inspiration. Now, I wanna to pose to you a couple of questions. One, where does inspiration come from? Two, why are we so fascinated about it? Three, how do we get it? If I ask you to stand up and walk around the room, it would be met with not much fanfare. Now, I want you to imagine Arthur, who was a paratrooper in the US Army, but after so many jumps, broke his back and his legs. After 15 years and gaining all this weight, the doctor said you will never walk again. Committed to having a new destiny in his life, he decided to change that outcome. He found a yoga instructor that would take him on as a client. He followed his regiment. He failed over and over again. But he said to himself, I may not do this today, but I'm gonna get this tomorrow. After 10 months, he was able to walk again. He was able to run again. He was able to do a handstand, something I can't even do. My belief is that inspiration lives between the person who we say we are now to the person who we say we want to be. Inspiration becomes the gasoline needed to fuel our life. Imagine a young man who has a vision of a world cured of chronic diseases, and he wants to spread his message and help people and save their lives. How does he accomplish this? Whatever happens to him? Well, in order for that person to become the vision that he sees himself to be, he has to find inspiration. I see inspiration as looking into four different places. The first place is learn inspiration, reading books, understanding how other people used to do it, borrowing different beliefs and ideas that you may not have. Number two, drawn upon inspiration. This is your positive self-talk. This is you and your conversation when you say, I can do this, I got this. I can keep on going. I may, pick my, I may not get it today, but I'll get it tomorrow. Number three, borrow inspiration. When we are at our wit's end and we want to give up, our friends, our supporters, our loved ones tell us, you can do this. You got this. You're smart enough. You're good enough. Keep on going. Number four, result-based inspiration. This is when you're working on something and you're getting little successes. You're working out, your body's changing, and you wanna keep the momentum going and that fuel uh, burning. We were born with an innate sense of uniqueness to bring that uniqueness onto this world. Some of us got off our life's track and we're living a life that is not in line with how we envisioned it. Others held on to their dreams and live the life that they always see themselves living. Those are the people that we call inspiring. The good news is that it's never too late to repurpose yourself and find the activities, the passions, the joys that you, that you see yourself living. In fact, the more that you're told no, and the bigger the circumstances, the bigger the inspirational story at the end. Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll, was once told, just keep driving trucks 
and give up his whole singing business. In 1994, J.K. Rowling, after getting a huge divorce, was living off of the government aid and couldn't even feed her baby. Walt Disney was fired for being not creative enough. There is no excuse or no circumstance that someone is able to match on the other side. If you think your excuse is big enough for you to not do something, I invite you to find someone who had a bigger circumstance and find out what they were able to do. So whatever happened to that young man who was interested in changing the world, well, you're gonna to have to ask me in a couple of years. Thank you.